Exodus chapter 4 verse 2. Verse 1, I can read as well and then do verse 2. And Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice. For they will say, The Lord hath not appeared unto thee. And the Lord said unto him, What is that in thine hand? And he said, A rod. Just a rod in my hand. That's enough with God. Guys, I'm not going to give a lecture in a science lab or whatever. I'm here to deliver God's word, to declare it. I want you today. If God picked you out, you have a serious responsibility. You are accountable to God. You do the wrong thing, you will sit in your family. You will sit in your work. You will see wherever you are by looking. Wrong decision, but I'm not going to lie you. God may be convicting you. You may be the answer to your people. You may be the answer to the problem in your office. You may be the answer to what's happening around you. And God is rocking. Rocking your ship. Your family, your business, your work, your health. Is God rocking you? Is God talking to you? Has God talked to you lately? Don't wait. It might cost you dearly. You are in me talk. Do you believe the book you're holding? It conquered the world. He's the best seller today. Billions have been sold. Year after year, it's still the best seller. No book has overcome this part. Napoleon Bonaparte said, this is no ordinary book. This is a living organism. It has the power to conquer everyone that opposes you. This is no ordinary book. It has conquered the world. It has conquered kings and empires. Drug addicts, rascals. What is that in thine hand? Bible. I'll do the second thing that is in your hand. I'll do three things today. Probably I'm telling myself when I'm telling you. The second thing is the church of the living God. The World War II was won by a prayer meeting in Wales. Every time the Allied forces faced difficulty, they would ring back and say, Pray. That's when miracles happen. A World War I, brother. The Battle of Gallipoli. Pastor, forget it! The world doesn't need those titles, they need power out of your life. Who doesn't who cares about the board member, whatever it is? I tell you, the world is dying. They don't worry about the board member, your pastor name or whatever you are, they don't 